Hey guys, so I have a quick tutorial for y'all. Um, it's a Bentec and Fusion 360 uh, tutorial. So what I'm going to teach you is how to transfer the Bentec cut wrappers to a format that you can use for plasma cutting, laser cutting, etc. So to get started, here's a chassis drawn up in Bentec. I am going to select a tube that, for now we're just gonna use a straight tube. I can show you how to unbend the uh, bent tubes and then make the cut wrappers. It's uh, um, another process I'll show you along the way. So, but we're, for right now, we're gonna start with a straight tube. See if we can find one that would produce a good cut. I think this one might be, or actually I'll just use this one, this uh, this bar right here. So you go to cutting, the cutting portion of Bentec. So you select your tube, go to details, and then there's your cut wrapper. So usually, see, it doesn't want you save it, it doesn't want you right click and save or anything. You just are supposed to print it and use it as a template so what I figured out is you press print and then you select this under printer Microsoft print to PDF so this turns that cut wrapper into just a regular PDF file um, I already saved this one I'm gonna call it cut wrapper s just for start of the tube so I know I already did this earlier just to kind of proof it, but um, you'll do that and then you'll save the other end as end. Same Microsoft print to PDF. Cut wrapper E for end. And another piece of software, it's a free piece of software called Inkscape. Uh, you're going to use it to load the PDF in. I have this already pulled up, so I'm going to start with start. So you pretty much just go to open and then you find your file and open the PDF directly in Inkscape. You will then uh, save as and then save it as whatever name you want. I'm saving mine as cut wrapper S as and I save it as a DXF file. Um, and I already saved it here. Um, so I'm going to overwrite that. And here's the, the kicker. Sometimes it doesn't input a unit. So since Bentec, whatever unit you're working with in Bentec, you'll set this unit to that. I'm working in inches, so I, sent, I uh, set it to inches. So it will output all of this info in inches. So there is the first cut wrapper as a DXF. So I already have the other one done so I'm not going to show you that but I will open up Fusion and I will show you how to place it in the file so it is able to be imported into CAM and able to create like a essentially a uh, a template for a plasma tube cutter or laser cutter um, so I already have this open I'm going to create a sketch put it on the top plane um, I am going to insert DXF uh, select my file cut wrapper s So here it is, um, units are in inches, plus OK. So one thing I like to check, uh, just to make sure it imported correctly, um, is the circumference of the tube. I'm using one and a half, <coughs> excuse me, one and a half inch tube. So the circumference, I believe, is like 4.7 something. Um, that's just... Uh, pi times diameter I think 
So yeah, 4.713, so we're dead on there. Um, so yeah, we will load in the other cut wrapper at the end. And we're gonna move it out, out of the way just so it's Let's see. Oh, whatever. I think. Yeah, I don't think it imported. Hold on. Actually, I'm going to open it up in a different sketch. Um, so we will insert this. move it just off to the side here let's see there we go so what I like to do now is move copy or hotkey M and this is already on a good point you're gonna want to select a pivot point that is gonna basically keep this in line when you flip it 180 degrees so yeah see how that's directly in line with that so um hit okay and then now you're going to go back into bentec and look at the cut wrapper or you can go into inkscape but i prefer bentec just to make sure everything's the same um just go to same tube details and then you'll zoom in so the distance to first or distance to second is the distance from this red line to the other red line of the other cut wrapper. So this is 20.467 inches. So go back into Fusion and we will draw a line on another sketch. I don't know, I'm obsessed with making sketches. But um, anyways, we'll project a point that's a hotkey P uh, and then uh, just select this point right here um, or actually no sorry my bad select this point right in the middle here so you might have to draw a point actually you can't really project that um, oh boy I really messed up okay uh, yeah just draw a point right there and then draw a line, hotkey L. And that was, I think, 20.467. Yep, 20.467. So make sure you're at zero degrees and put in 20.467 inches. Oop. There we go. Good. Now go to move copy, uh, shift and select everything. And actually don't do that yet you have to create another point <laughs> my bad so create another point on the sketch with the end so sketch 3 is mine uh, we'll create another point right here we'll hide this sketch for now move copy select everything oops select sketch objects select everything Uh, set pivot to this right here because this is the red line remember so set your pivot right here oops yeah set it right there and then check mark open up this again um, point to point move so select your origin point as this point right here which you just made so that's on the red line and then select your target point at the end of this so it will line it up perfectly end to end and then hit OK and then delete the geometry you don't need so I don't need any of this besides the um, basically the cut here so I gotta get rid of everything I usually import it into sheet cam and it'll automatically determine 
um, the size of the tube you're using with whatever uh, you know it's like oops I messed up let's see if oh I got history on that's why okay all right oh all right there we go <coughs> so now you hide this select and you're gonna move point to point I like to select the outermost point um, and that's the bottom here I'm gonna turn the origin on and then select the target point as zero zero so now we have a template and you can either save that and export uh, save it and export it as a DXF through this selection right here export or if they're on the same sketch which I didn't do but um, if they're on the same sketch you can uh, I think right click on the sketch and go save as DXF so once you do that you can import it into whatever cam uh, manufacturing software you have so I use sheet cam uh, and basically I load in the file and then there's just these two cuts right and you're able to program a, uh, a plasma cutting toolpath alright so just another tip um, for bent tubes it's the same deal um, I did some math and you can find the length of the bend and the length of the straight sections and take away the distance on the cut wrappers so the cut wrappers have this distance to end so I just took that away on both sides and it gives you this number the distance between wrapper reference lines so this is an actual distance along the the uh, tube so that's accurate um, you can trust it um, so basically you would do the same thing as you would a straight tube and this would be your distance. Mm -hmm.